So what we're really looking at is cognition. And cognition is from the Latin base, which I always mispronounce, cognitio. Did I get it close? OK, good. Which is no together. It's basically the collection of mental processes and activities that are used in perceiving, remembering, learning, thinking, understanding, and the act of using those processes. Because remember, we're thinking about things, but our behavior includes not just what we're thinking about, but what we actually do. How what we're thinking influences how we behave. So let's go really quickly through some cognitive processes. Most of these are going to be very self-evident, things like learning and memory. I right, have to think of that when it comes to cognitive processes. Thinking and reasoning, things like planning, decision making, problem solving, kind of obvious so far, right? Language. You are certainly processing information. Hopefully you're thinking about what you're going to say before you say it. Unlike some of my relatives who say and then think. I'm sure some of you have relatives like that. Vision and perception. I'm going to give you some uh, examples of this. this is, that's really, really interesting. How do we perceive things? Do you think we just pull in information in from what we see and it kind of sits there? Like a photograph? Yeah, it, it doesn't work that way, actually. We do process that information. Social cognition. Does anyone know what that is? One of my favorite topics. Yes, it's how, our, how we interact with people, how we understand behavior, our own behavior, the behavior of others, and how we interact and react to that behavior. It's understanding things like other people have minds and they, are, they actually think about things. Understanding that my perspective of that door back there is very different from your perspective. When I look back there, I can see the door. You're looking towards the front, you can't see the door. Kind of obvious, right? Take one of my developmental psychology classes. You'll see how not obvious it is to three-year-olds. Something we actually need to develop. Social cognition actually is very closely tied to academic achievement. Right? Long-term education and those sorts of things. Very, very interesting area. It also includes fun things like pretend play. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old. I get to pretend play all the time. Now, pretend play, for example, why is that important? For you guys too, other than it's fun? Because it helps us practice things in a safe environment. As we get older, we actually learn to do that on our own. Things like emotion. Do you think we have any cognitive processes when it comes to emotion? Or do you think it's just a reaction? Yeah, we absolutely. It, it, does, it affects our cognition. Our cognition affects our emotions. So it definitely is a cognitive process. There are biological aspects of it, most certainly. But what you actually find with emotion is it is more cognitive than it is biological, even though both of those are there. And then dreaming and consciousness. I know some things that students sometimes do in my class. They fall asleep and start dreaming of how wonderful the class is. That, of course, again, you're processing information. It may not make sense sometimes, but you're still processing information. 